Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you how to find the tempo of any loop in Reaper. So I have a project set up here, and I've already created some parts to go with some loops I want to bring in. I have some MIDI drums and a looped shaker. Let's see what I have now. So I want to bring in some loops to match this, but I don't want to use the tempo I have now, which is set down here to 93 beats per minute. Instead, I want to use the tempo of the loops. So let's go up here to the view menu and choose Media Explorer. Where we can find some loops I want to bring in. I already set up a folder right here with the loops I want to choose. This first one sounds like this. As you can tell, it's a bit faster. Now, if we wanted to match the tempo of our project, we would turn on this option right here. Now, if we hear it, it plays back slower, which is the tempo it would be if we dragged it in now. It'll match the tempo of our project, like this. Drag it in and drop it, and we can see it matches the tempo of the project. But we don't want to do that. We want to use the tempo from the loop and change the project to adjust. So let's undo that and turn off this option and now drag it in at its own tempo. Drag it in and drop it. And we can see by the length, it's too short, meaning the loop is a bit faster than our project. Like this. It doesn't match at all. So to change our tempo to match the loop, we would right click on the track, go down here to track time base and change it to time. By default, it's usually set to beats, position, length and rate, which means it'll change to the tempo we choose. We don't want that. We want our project to readjust to this loop. So we'll choose time as the time base. And if we change the tempo in our project, this loop isn't gonna adjust. Just these loops will. So then we're gonna hold down shift and double click the item, which creates a time selection based on the length of the item, starting from here and ending over here. Then we'll go to the actions menu, show action list, and type in, in the filter, create measure, which will show this action right here. Create measure from time selection, which will detect the tempo and detect the number of measures. And we can see by default, there's already a keyboard shortcut to do this. So I'm gonna use that instead so we can see the changes in real time. On PC, it's Alt-Shift-C, and on Mac, it's Option-Shift-C. So we'll hit that keyboard shortcut, and our project changes to the tempo of this loop, before and after. And notice, Reaper put a tempo change at the beginning and the end of our loop at 105 beats per minute. That's the tempo of this loop. So we can delete the second one, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just keep the first one. So now it's 105 beats per minute, and everything's gonna match up based on the tempo of this loop. And because it's a loop, we can just drag it out over here to make it play through the whole section. Perfect. Let's try it with a different loop. We'll go back to the Media Explorer and let's try out this drum loop. Notice it's a bit slower. If we wanted to match this to the tempo of our project, we would just turn this on over here. Which makes it faster to match our project. But again, we don't want to do that. 
we want our project to adjust to this loop. So leave this off and drag this in and drop it. Notice the loop is a bit longer than our project because again, it's slower. So you play it. It doesn't match the project. So again, we'll right click the track, go to track time base and switch it to time. Then we'll hold on shift and double click the item, which creates a time selection based on the length of the item. Hit that keyboard shortcut, Alt Shift C on the PC or Option Shift C on the Mac. And adjust the project in this section to that tempo. Again, we could delete the second one. And we can see our tempo is 82.838 beats per minute. And it sounds like this. Again, our project changed to the tempo of our loop. So now we know the tempo of this loop. Let's try it again with another one. Open up the Media Explorer. This time we're going to choose a piano loop. And again, we'll leave this option off to match the tempo because you don't want to do that. Drag it in and drop it. Again, the loop is too long. Right click, track time base, time, shift, double click it, hit the keyboard shortcut, and it changes to that tempo, which in this case is 85 beats per minute. And again, we could delete the second tempo. So now it should be perfect with our song. Perfect. Now let's say we wanted to bring in that drum loop that we had before, but we want to keep the tempo of the piano loop. Just turn on this option, go to the drum loop, and drag it in like that. Drag it and drop it. And we can see the tempo is automatically changed to the tempo of our project, which is now 85 beats per minute based on the tempo of the piano. And we can see the drum loop's rate has changed to match that tempo. So it all works perfectly. But let's try one more loop. This time we'll try this loop. And again, we want to use this tempo. So we'll drag it in with this turned off and drop it. And again, this loop is too short. So instead of stretching it, we'll right click the track, go to track time base and switch it to time. Hold on shift and double click the item, hit that keyboard shortcut and adjust the project to that tempo, which we can see is a hundred beats per minute. And again, we could delete this one and it should play back perfectly with our drums and shaker matching this loop. Perfect. But let's say we think it sounds too fast. We can still change it afterwards. We can go up here and change the tempo manually by double clicking. Let's change it to 90. But notice it changed these tracks to 90, but it didn't change our loop because we changed the track time base on this track. So instead, let's undo this. And now once the loop is brought in, we can change the track time base back. Right click it, go to track time base, and either change it to beats, position, length, and rate, or change it back to the default, which is basically the same thing. As we can see, if we go up here, to the project settings. Right over here, the time base for items is beats, position, length, and rate. So we put it back to the default. Now it's going to change if we change the tempo of our project. Right now it's working at 100 beats per minute. But we could change it to anything. Let's slow it down to 90. Now it all matches still perfectly.
or bring it up to 92. So it'll still change or readjust to any tempo we put in, but at least we could start with the tempo of the loop. So that's pretty much it. That's how to quickly find the tempo of any loop in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.